Right then, I've got to um, Triscum Stone. I've parked Alberta in the car park there. There's lots of bikers at park here. They've all got vans. It's a very scenic journey up. A very, very narrow pathway. So look at those horses there. Some horses just in there. Hello. Oh, aren't you lovely, darling? So quiet. Anyway, so I've parked. I decided after having quite a run in with a farmer going down a country lane, he had to reverse and he didn't want to, but he had to because I wouldn't have been able to do it um, up a hill. Alberta doesn't like reversing back up, up hills. So, um, and I had the longer journey to have made, but I, I got to my destination and he just had to back. He just had to back off, basically. <sighs> right, I'm not quite sure which way to go, really. Something tells me just to go up through the wood here. <sighs> It'd be cooler. And, and probably emerge further up. I think I'll try that. Going round Will's neck. Going round this way. Rather than climb up, I'll go around it. That's my instinct. Anyway, so I've got here. Um, I decided after that thing with the farmer that I would take the easiest route, which wasn't exactly easy. I mean, I only had one small scrape with a horse lorry. But we managed to do it, and another car involved as well. But we managed to do it on a very narrow lane. Um... And I'm going to try and video the return back through that coombe um, because it was absolutely fantastic. So beautiful. So now I've given myself a hike to do, which I thought I might do. That's why I wore old faithful shoes. I'm going for, I, I don't really, I'm, I'm, I'm ad-libbing. Last time I went up on the top where the trick point is. But what I'm doing, because it's very, very hot out there, I'm just assuming this hill, this wood, goes around the bottom and I can come out to, down the bottom somewhere because it's so hot outside. This is the hottest bank holiday, Monday in August ever on record so this is Sheila exploring again looking for the second church which in this case will be West Bagborough because when I asked a woman she said oh you'll have to negotiate lots and lots of narrow lanes if you want to get from here to West Bagborough and I thought oh dear you know, the, the thing is with some of the lanes, they don't have cutouts for passing. So you literally somebody has to back down and, and reverse or drive forward and do something. I feel as if I'm walking around Will's Neck now. Surrounded by these big pine trees which are symbolic of great wood and everything. And that's more adventures I want to do another day. My instinct's just telling me this is taking me around the base of Will's Neck in the shade. I haven't got a clue how long it's going to take me. I know there's a prospect of having to walk down. Like when I did Crocom Church, I had to go down. Uh, apparently someone did say it is steep but not as bad as Crocom. So what I'm doing now, I'm just walking through this wood, the odd mushroom here and there. <sighs> nobody out, it's amazing, isn't it? <sighs> the times I come out and there's nobody about. <sighs> now, of course, in theory, I've come out late. So the main aim at the moment is to get to the church. I mean, I don't think I'm going to get three done today because I've had to do this instead. 
<sighs> this will count for uh, just getting West Bagborough done. I mean, you've got to aim at getting to the church by four, five o'clock at the latest, because they shut them. It'd be awful to get there and they shut it, wouldn't it? <sighs> yesterday I had a massive walk, you see. I was walking for six or seven hours yesterday. I feel fine. I feel fine, but I mean, today I was going to sort of drive to churches. Um, but to be quite honest, I decided that my best option will be to... But even so, I've diverted now and I should be over there, really. I'm going to say, if there's a turning in a minute, I'm going to go that way because that was a straightforward route. I don't want to get like carried away down into that down over there or anything when the hill's over there <sighs> knowing me I've done made a, an error I always make um, life hard for myself always well that looks like the hill right in front of me that looks like the hill there <sighs> very boggy here. I'm going to cross over here, I think. So I haven't got proper walking shoes on. These are, you know, these are all right, though. See, when you know the way, it's so much easier, isn't it? Joining up the catchments. For, uh, if I just go up there a minute, we can see the top of Will's Knack, because I'm not quite sure where that's going to take me. That's the problem. It might be the best idea to follow that, to keep out the sun. There's no one to ask, you see. Yeah, there's, there's the trick point there, see. I don't know what to do. I wonder if that will go round it. I reckon it probably will. What do you think? Maybe it won't. And I need to be up there. And go down the other side. It might be better to do that than start exploring. Too much. Um... Right, what I'm going to do for now, folks, is turn off and uh, walk around the hill, that, but I'm going to be walking around it in the heat, unfortunately. So I'm not quite sure where that wood would take me. I'm not quite sure where I'd come out. So it doesn't make sense to walk out in the heat, does it? And that would take me around. Well, that's what we're going to do. I'm turning.